Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at circle theorems. Please do download the worksheet, have a go at each of the questions for yourself and compare your solutions. So in the first one we're looking at a uh, two tangents across a circle. Now a tangent meets the radius of a circle at 90 degrees. Now very helpfully in this particular one they've told us it's 90 degrees however under normal circumstances you don't get told that but it does mean that that we've got then a quadrilateral so if you can actually see this here we're being asked to work out this angle and in a quadrilateral all of the angles add up to 360 degrees so all we would do is add up 90 plus 90 plus 32 which is equal to 212 and then we take that away from 360 and that's going to give us our actual angle which is 148 degrees so angle AOB is equal to 148 degrees and that's the answer to that particular question. Okay, let's move on to question number two. Okay, so in question number two, we've got uh, angles which are subtended by an arc AD. Okay, so it's, this is common to both of these angles, this one and this one. And the circle theorem is that both of these angles will be the same. So this angle is actually 57 degrees. So angle ACD also equals 57 degrees and that's the answer to the second one so you will get used to working with these circle theorems and once you know them there's probably about four out of six circle theorems that come up all the time they're the ones that are going to be revisited each time in each of these questions okay so let's have a look then at question number three now question number three deals with one of the most popular uh, type of um, circle theorem questions that you're going to get at GCSE and that's all about having a what they call a cyclic quadrilateral which is just simply a four-sided shape inside a circle. Now the properties are is that the opposite angles so the two angles touching each side are going to add to 180 degrees. Okay so that's the first bit with this particular one that if we want to work out angle x, angle x is going to be uh, basically 180 degrees minus 82 because this and this add to 180 degrees that's going to give you then 98 and that would be the answer to the first question and then the second part of this question is the angles at the center are double the angle at the circumference and again this kind of uh, circle theorem pops up quite frequently so this is one that you need to know so if we know now that angle x is going to be uh, 98 degrees then angle y is actually going to be double it so angle y is going to be simply 2 times 98 so 2 times 98 which is going to equal 196 degrees and that's the answer to question number three let's move on then to question number four so in question number four we've got uh, a triangle inside a circle and it has a tangent attached to it and what we're being asked to do firstly is to work out angle a b d which is a b D. So it's actually this whole angle here. Now you might remember from the first question that the tangent meets a radius at 90 degrees. So actually we know that part of this angle is going to be this bit of it which is 90. So actually if we want to work out angle ABD it's going to equal 90 plus the 35 that we already know which is going to give us a total angle of 125 degrees. And that would be the answer to part A of this particular question. Let's have a look then at part B. So part B, we're looking at the properties of a triangle because we need to figure out the angle DEB, which is DEB, which is this angle at the top. OK, now with... Um, a uh, triangle inside a circle like this where the base of the triangle is the diameter this angle is 90 degrees so actually it's fairly straightforward that if we want to work out that angle DEB is going to equal 180 degrees which is the amount of angles that there are or the degrees in uh, total degrees inside a triangle take away the 90 take away the 35 that we already know so therefore we can say that angle DEB is going to be 
and 55 degrees. Okay, so that's 180 minus 90 minus, this is actually a 335, 55 degrees. And that would be the answer to question number four. Okay, let's move on to question number five. Please do stop the video, have a go at some of these questions and then compare your solution. So question number five, we've actually, for the first time, we've got a triangle that comes out of the circle itself. But again, we've got this properties of a triangle that we need to work through, that we know that in a triangle, all of the angles add up to 180 degrees. And as mentioned before, a radius meets a tangent at 90 degrees because with this particular type of question we can draw one line and that will hopefully make it seem sensible because effectively then we've got an isosceles triangle so we know this is 28 degrees at the bottom because OA and OC are both radius so therefore they're both the same must be an isosceles and we also know that the radius meets the tangent at 90 degrees so that's this is going to be 90 degrees. So actually this angle here, hopefully you can see that on the video, is going to be 28 plus 90 degrees, okay? So we're in a situation now that we actually know two of the three angles of this particular triangle, so therefore we can go ahead and answer the question. So if we want to work out angle ABC, which is this angle at the bottom here, it's going to be, effectively if I draw it sort of, uh, just basically here. Okay, this is the angle we're looking for. This we know is 28, and we know this is gonna be 118 degrees because it's 90 plus 28. So therefore, angle ABC is gonna be 180, angles in a, tri in a triangle, minus 28, minus 118, which is gonna equal 34 degrees, and that would be the answer to that particular question. Let's move on then to question number five. Hopefully you're following this okay. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Okay, so angle number five is again very popular for um, uh, circle theorem type questions where, as we did uh, back in one of the earlier questions, the angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference and also opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so in that case, it allows us then to work out this angle at the top here, which is actually going to be 180 take away 144, so that's gonna be 36 degrees. So if we want to work out angle AOC, which is this one in the middle, it's gonna be two times angle ABC, so 2 times 36 is going to give a total of 72 degrees. Now I'm very aware that on this particular type of question it will say give a reason and that should be on the panel that comes up alongside the actual calculation itself. So please do look upon these questions as taking the answer but also the reason as well. You need to be writing those down. Okay, let's look at then the final couple of questions. Oh no, beg your pardon the final question on circle theorems. Now this is, um, I don't know, it's something like a grade six, something like that. But again, we're not really going to be doing anything different. The only issue with it is that we're told that actually there's two lines inside the triangle at the same, therefore it's an isosceles triangle. We use that property like we did before with the earlier question. Okay, so we're told that this is 56 degrees. Now, one of the theories that we haven't come across uh, so far is something called the alternate segment. So this is the alternate segment and it is one of the ones that you do need to mention segment that you do need to mention when you're actually doing your calculation. Now because we know that the top angle, uh, the apex angle of that particular triangle is 56 degrees and we know it's an isosceles, it allows us then to work out the two base angles. So um, if I draw this kind of separately here Okay, just do it very quickly. We know this is 56, okay? So each of these angles are gonna be exactly the same. And if we take 56 away from 180 divided by two, it means this angle at the bottom is gonna be 62 degrees. So in other words, this whole angle here 
is 62 degrees. Okay, now because we know it's 62 degrees and we know there's 180 degrees in a straight line, we can work out the other angle at the bottom because we know that BCE then is going to be um, 180 minus 56 minus 62, which is going to give us a total of 62 degrees. So actually BCE, which is this angle here, is also 62 degrees. Okay, how does that help us? Well, as we mentioned before, we know that a radius meets a, uh, a tangent at 90 degrees. So if we want to make out, or want to find out that very tiny little angle that we've got here is going to be 90 degrees take away 62. So angle um, OCB, which is the angle that we're being asked to find, is 90 minus 62 degrees. Hopefully you can see that's okay on the video. That what we're saying is that this is 62 and this is 90 degrees because it's a radius and a tangent. Pretty much that's it for circle theorems. Please do um, add a link, uh, add a comment below and uh, I'll always come back to you if you're not sure about anything. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.